the grip of fear is loosening. Okay, in a very practical way, the spirit just is, is helping us dissolve away any sense of fear of consequences. Because mm -hmm. um, all of our fear of consequences, fear of future consequences, is, is ego based. And it just washes away, washes away that. And I know as part of my unwinding from the thinking of the world that. It was, it was gradual and it was gentle, but I, I, I started to feel so freed up from the fear of consequences. I, I started to really feel like everything was a reflection of my mind. So towards the end when I would go like on what the world would call a job interview, it was fantastic. It was like I, I was going into it with I've got nothing to lose attitude, which truly freed me up. So means that the last job that I had in, in the worldly sense, you know, it was um, the woman who was interviewing me, she just, as I was speaking with, from my fearless, no fear of consequences, gleeful, joyful place, she just had the biggest smile on her face, the interviewer, and then she said, can you come back for a second interview, and I said, oh sure, and I came back and even more so, just was shining and sharing. And then when you hear from, during a job interview, you hear the words, I love your laughter, I love your smile, I love your ideas, you got the job. You know, it just kind of just rolled out. And that was the last kind of job interview in that kind of sense. Because then after that the Spirit said, you know, I will use you in ways that you can't even imagine. And basically the Spirit was saying, you're mine now. <laughs> you know, you, you're, you're going to be used by me. But, but I really enjoyed that. I mean, I, I, I feel like that's coming to an authentic place of, of fearlessness, uh, where you can be so happy and relaxed and truly authentic, is, is really what it's about. And then from there, everything just unfolds. Doors open, you, you meet the people that you're supposed to meet, you travel where you're supposed to travel. It's, it's more like, uh, it's that teaching from the Course that miracles are involuntary and should not be under conscious control. There's no I back there, no little I that's trying to run the show. It's more like, more like you're the witness self, you're just beholding everything that's happening. And it's wonderful. So, that for me, that was really what the inner work was about, was really just being honest with myself and looking to see where I still had con fear of consequences that was still dictating my decisions. And fear is never a motivator, you know, it never, we are never freed by fear, we need to be freed from, from fear, mm -hmm. through trust, through practice. Course says there's no miracles where there's fear. Fear prevents miracles. You can't be a miracle worker unless, at least for an instant, we're able to suspend doubt and fear and let it, let it be performed through you, but not, not in a state of fear. So that's good practice. To just allow whatever needs to come up, just to come up, to let it all be used for healing. There's no, you don't have to go on like a witch hunt to try to find the fear. Just every day is plenty, <laughs> <laughs> plenty of opportunities. <laughs> yeah, I was at a, speaking at a miracles conference out in San Francisco, and I forget which one. I've been to three of them, but maybe it was the second one or something. And, and Gary Renard was speaking and he said, yeah, you know, of course people can be really vicious. Really, really vicious and, and really disturbing. And so I called Ken Wapnick up and I said, you know, how do you deal with, I mean, how do you deal with vicious Course Miracles students and teachers? And Ken said, don't go around Course teachers and students. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like you have to face, you know, it's all thoughts, and you have to have to face them. And, and um, it's like when you go on the spiritual journey, and people seem to be consciously on the journey, then then that 
that conflict that's that's the ego is is flushed a little bit more up into awareness, and so then the the forgiveness opportunities just come fast and furious <laughs> when it's when you're really sensitized to it, you know. But that's good too, you know. You wanna you wanna get through it. You wanna transcend it. The grip of fear is loosening.